The V-Life with Dr. Annie is produced by Advanced Cardiovascular Care Center with educational grants from Amazing Lines, Dolce Vita Cardio Advanced Med Spa, and sponsored by In-Mode Aesthetic Solutions. Well, good morning. Today we're here at King's College Hospital um, in Dubai, and I'm so excited to introduce you to my friend, Dr. Tamkin Kina. He's a specialist cardiologist here at the King's College Hospital in Dubai. Welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. It's uh, called Live the V Life with Dr. Annie, and um, I love going around the world and in interviewing people and introducing them to people all over the world about what you do, and we thank you for giving us your time. This thank morning. you very much for having me. <laughs> it's such a pleasure and an honor. So tell me um, a little bit about yourself. Um, where did you train, and what brought you to Dubai? So basically, I uh, started my medical education, uh, my basic school, medical school in Russia, in Russian Federation, from a very small city called uh, Tver. And uh, I did my basic medical training from there. Then I completed my post graduation and my super specialty, which is cardiology, um, for, for the next five years. And then from there, I went back to India. I had practiced, I practiced a couple of years there, and then I uh, came to Dubai. That's wonderful. Well, a gift that Dubai received from India then. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So at King's College Hospital, then what um, what are you doing for the patients here? I know it's a facility that has many things uh, from invasive, non-invasive, cardiovascular care. W where do you fit in this uh, King's College realm and then what would you like to do for the patients? Uh, I'm basically dealing with non-intervention cardiology, so my basic uh, aim is to take care of the people who have um, basically dealing with preventive cardiology. Um, that is, um, as, as this is what I think that prevention is better than cure. So I make sure yes. that the people don't get diseases and we prevent them before they, they start having. So primary prevention basically. And uh, I take care of all the patients uh, who have high risk for developing coronary artery disease. And uh, at the same time, I treat the patients who have already developed coronary artery disease, um, like um, uh, and have risk factors like hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol. Um, that, that's it. Right. So, I think even more important than putting stent in the coronary when someone's having an acute heart attack is to prevent that coronary uh, event from occurring. Right. So it sounds to me that. Your passion here is to prevent I think that, those things. That's my aim, you know. Uh, after you develop a certain disease, then you have it and you have to live with it and then you have to be on medications. But my aim is to prevent that thing to happen. Yeah. So if you if you control your lifestyle, um, I think that's the most important thing in order to prevent yourself uh, from getting these very uh, devastating, I might say, devastating disease because they have a lot of implications on you, on your family. Um, so the most important again is how you uh, deal uh, with these situations in day to day your life and uh, how you uh, control your um, um, co control your the things that you do with your life, right? So, Absolutely. so. Um, do you have special program here? If a patient came here and they said, Dr. Kina, um, you know, my family history is such that I have early cardiovascular disease, early heart attack and stroke, are there programs that you would implement? Yeah, definitely yeah. we do. First, first of all, what, what, we're, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have a series of blood tests done on him to make sure that he doesn't have uh, other risk factors, just to calculate his overall risk. Uh, like we have atherosclerotic uh, cardiovascular ASCVD calculator mm -hmm. or we use QRIS calculator in England um, where you basically calculate the risk, 10 year risk of uh, getting cardiovascular disease and then accordingly we decide to, to uh, 
implement a certain protocol for, 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 for that patient. So if somebody has cardiovascular disease, um, what would be your message to them? Is it, is it actually reversible? Uh, I think I'm, I I can't say it's reversible. I but I can say that it's 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 uh, you you can you can basically halt further stabilize, progression. You yeah. can stabilize yeah. uh, rather than reverse it. Definitely, there have been a few studies when which have proven that you know uh, you might reverse a bit of atherosclerotic plaques. Uh, but I, I, I don't want to go to that area, but my point is that we can definitely stop the progression or delay the progression right. of coronary artery disease. How exciting that is, right? So that must be burning inside of you to, to teach people here and around the world that they can stabilize their disease and they don't have to have a heart attack, that maybe their father died or their mother died of a heart attack, and so they live in fear. And uh, so to get that message across to people, it must be quite exciting for you. It's very exciting because what I personally believe that, you know, if you prevent uh, a person from getting a certain disease, uh, I think that's, that's, that's what you are made for, basically. That's what mm -hmm. you have been taught. Uh, and it makes you feel very happy when you prevent um, uh, certain complications of certain disease. and. Uh, because you are not helping that person, you're helping a whole family. That's right. Uh, it's, it's the wife, it's the kids, it's the parents. And uh, cardiovascular disease have very high mortality. So, um, and uh, preventing it is, is the goal and that's my aim. Right. And what if somebody said to you, Dr. Kina, I, you know, I'm really scared of doing an angiogram. Um, are there some non-invasive ways of looking at their arteries? Well, absolutely, we do. Um, Initially, it all depends upon what is the risk of the patient. If the patient is uh, at uh, low to moderate risk, we can just go for a stress echo where we do an echocardiogram when the patient is at rest, then we stress the patient and then we do the stress, um, we, do, we do the echo again. That's more sensitive, it's around 85%. Or if uh, the patient is at high risk, and he, uh, then we might take him for a CT coronary angiogram, which is just a CT scan of your arteries. We inject a dye into the arteries, um, in, into the veins, and then the dye goes into the heart and we take pictures. Uh, that's the more, more sensitive, around 90 to 95%. And that doesn't take very long. Right? Oh, absolutely not. It takes maximum 15 minutes. To, yes. to, for the whole, whole to, test. to know their anatomy. So Absolutely. And many patients are amenable to that uh, if they haven't had a lot of intervention, a lot of stents already, or um, bypass surgery, or things like that. So, so many people are able to have that testing done easily. Uh, absolutely, and we do it here. We do, we do CT coronary angiograms very frequently here. And I think that's, that's, that's a very good non invasive test for all the yes. people who are at high risk. And what about somebody who comes and says, you know, I'm having a lot of palpitations, short and so breath. Is there a way to monitor their heart kind of over the several day period? Oh, definitely we do have. We have um, Holzer monitoring where there's a small machine which, which is connected <coughs> with the electrodes uh, to your body and then it measures your rhythm and rate over, over the period of time. Mm. And there are new uh, machines um, where they are just um, implanted in your skin, under your skin, and then they can be kept there for months, uh, and we can have live monitoring uh, during the whole period. So, so somebody can walk around in their daily life, and you would know what's happening with them. Absolutely, we'll have we'll have we have a tower where all these recordings go, and someone is there is there uh, who is looking uh, at these uh, uh, EKG tracings twenty four seven. So if anything, they call us and. Let the it's like being connected to you. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And we were talking earlier about a, a monitor from the United States, right? Um, uh, that can be placed on the skin, but it's very um, easy to wear. You can take a shower with it and all of that and uh, without leads. Absolutely. That's, I think that's the most important because when you put the leads, the patient get a little bit you know, worried and what's happening around with the yeah. leads and they try not to move it's around scary, much. Yes, right? Absolutely. Okay. But if something is without leads and the patient doesn't know about it, that there's something 
uh, fixed to the skin, then I think, I think that's the, the... Yeah, so hopefully you will bring that here. And, uh, Absolutely. Bring more and more technology uh, to help the people Absolutely. of Dubai. Uh, Dubai is such a hub, isn't it? Um, people coming from India and Asia, uh, other parts of Asia and Europe. Definitely. Dubai is a diverse, uh, uh, diverse country. We have a lot of nationalities here and that's why it's very important for us to know about about the risk because South Asian uh, people have higher risk of getting coronary artery disease in comparison to the other other ethnicities. So uh, it becomes very important for us to basically um, screen them for uh, risk factors and accordingly to treat them. Dr. Kina, I want to thank you for being with us today. You've been such a an inspiration for many of your colleagues I know and. Uh, you helped to lead the 4TS uh, for the, the public um, forum and tell a lot of people about how to keep healthy. What, what message would you like to leave with them um, as we end our program here today? Uh, the only message which, which uh, I would like to give to, to all the people that, you know, uh, prevention is better than cure, so stick to your lifestyle, um, um, daily exercise, diet, um, reduce stress, play with your family, go out, go around, have a nice sleep. So that's, that's, the, important. that's the most important thing. <laughs> well, we thank you so thank much. You much. And we know you're busy with patients. So join us next time for Live to Be Life with Dr. Amy. Thank you.